Happy May the 4th be with everyone. Happy May the 4th, everyone. So, if you're a Star Wars fan, you know exactly what day it is. Aside from that, hey, what's up to me, Tom? I'll put a like video on the channel. And so, basically, this is a mod review on May the 4th regarding the Star Wars mod that is the Parsi's 1.18.2 star wars mod he was the creator of the previous star wars mod and he made a updated version and it is importing a lot of the star wars aspects into that mod and it's going to take a while for this mod to be really really good but i think it's good right now in terms of what he has already let's pick our race nice so i can be a jawa wow that's such a human and i like how it's just sand my skin is sand, limestone, ivory, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, and then almond. I think I think it matches. Let's actually take a look at the other ones. Cyan, dark blue. So this is, is this like the Cad Bane race? I actually don't. I actually I know a lot of these characters, like I've seen them before, but I I, I completely forget like what they are. Like that's why like I know the jaw one. I know. Um, I completely forgot about these. The but the. Pantorian? No, uh, which one? The to to uh, Togra. Ah, Togra, Togi, Toga. Uh, I know about this one, and um, the rest I just I, I forgot. I forgot their name, but you know. So let's go with human uh, eyebrows, blonde. I, I still go with black hair. The these are some great things. Eye color, top tattooing commoner, uh, the gunslinger, the Jedi. Smuggler. I'll go with the Jedi. Tatooine Commoner. Jedi Smuggler. Let's go with the Jedi again. Tatooine Commoner. Basic None. Uh, Tatooine Commoner. Jedi. Gloves. Rebel Pilots. Because well, I'm just random. Uh, none. The Marshal. Uh, Tatooine. Jedi. Okay. Alright. So that's finally settled. I look stupid. Now. This is the newer Star Wars mod, which is obviously related to the old one, but I don't know much about it. So let's go into game mode real quick. Ah! They have the X-Wing. Uh. That is really nice. The flying is a little simple, where the W is like the speed and uh, like go forward. And stop is S. You can kind of control your speed settings. The the way I'm like turn is like your mouse. Um, right left click is the shooting, and yeah, it's overall pretty nice. There's not enough in here to do a full series now that I'm like looking through it, but it's clear enough that it's it's good enough for a nice little mod review, I guess, of Star Wars mod. Overall, really good. This is what it does to the ground and. In terms of aiming, ah, uh, yeah, that's a problem. See, with the X-Wing, uh, as you can see, it's difficult to aim because the way that the X-Wing is, you know, it, it's a little, you have to be at a further distance for it to actually, like, work. Overall, though, it's a pretty cool, like, design. And if you look, take a look at it, it just, it looks amazing when you, like, put it in this perspective. I mean, they, they did this very, very well. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to open up the wings, so there's that as well. So they have titanium stuff, they have a bunch of food stuff, they have the land speeder, so that's cool. You know, nothing too uh, extreme, just a nice, lovely little land speeder. Basically, that that's that's the extent of what they have for uh, the vehicles so far. Uh, they have a, that thing, this thing, and the wart. So I guess these are just like fish that you would find. Um, let's see. They also have a lightsabers, which I'll check that out in just a second. They have a bunch of drinks and whatnot. I wonder if they actually like make junk. Uh, they do give you nausea, so there's that. Uh, we have Darth Vader saber, have uh, Ezra, uh, we have Anakin's, 
We have Obi-Wans, we have Qui-Gons, and then we have Luke's. Okay. So, uh, it's, it's here. Toggle Z. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's even like a little animation to it as well. Okay. Ezra's, okay. Anakin's, Obi-Wan's, Qui-Gon's, Luke's. Overall, I don't know if there's much of a difference. Um, I think there is no difference, it's just the color and like the health design. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's any throwing ability or like anything around the lines of like reflected back. But there's that. I assume they're gonna add a lot more, by the way. Just it's what they have right now. Oh, that's very nice. They have the Blastech EE3 Carbine Blaster, and that is uh, amazing looking. Um, Blastech T21. Okay, there's even like a little cooldown there. Carbine. This is a DC uh, crap. DC 15A carbine. So this is just a, um, a single shot. Okay. The Mersod RK3. I feel, I feel like I've seen this one before. Is, is this like the one that a lot of like the bounty hunters carry? I, I forgot who carries those. Um, ooh, I, I recognize that sound. This is the um, RT97C. Really nice. PL18. This reminds me, I think this is the Han Solo one. E11. That's the regular clone one, based on the sound of it. The bow cast. This is like obviously the uh, the Wookiees. But very nice. And then DLT19. Another uh, Clone Wars gun, I think. I don't know them by name, I know them by sound which is a little weird. So that's why I'm like, just saying who uses them in a, in a general sense. Um, DH-17. Uh, this is like, I think admirals carry this one, I think. Or was, or was the bounty hunter one that I said before, the admiral one. Either way, very nice. SC-14C. Blast Tech DL44. Nice. Jawa Ionizing Blast. This is what they use to like capture the droids and whatnot. I don't know if this actually does damage, but yeah. And I, I it wouldn't make sense for me to like shoot like zombies and whatnot or like something. But they don't really do I they do a decent bit of damage, but like I don't feel like spawning in something just, just to uh, shoot up the same thing over again. Even though I think most of the bullets do the exact same damage. It's just how many of they fire at the same time. Uh, let me see if this actually does, like, anything. No, okay, I think it's more for droids if they're ever adding this. A, uh, 280. Nice. Cycler rifle. Ooh. Did you see that? There's, like, a, um, if you... On cooldown, you can easily recharge it by uh, timing it. DC-15. Sounds like another Clone Wars gun, but either way, all these guns, very, very nice, very, very cool design. Also, just in general, the food stuff here, you can try it out. Like, there's a Bantha cookie. Some of them give you effects, I believe. While the other ones, just, you know, just food, general food items. And uh, let's let me see here real quick if there's a dimension. So I think there is a Tatooine, like uh, dimension. Problem is, uh, yeah, I don't know how to how to get to that. So I mean, I I, I think there's a Tatooine dimension. Uh, there's a lot of Tatooine related stuff. Either way, if there is a way to like travel to Tatooine, I think the safest bet is to take this thing and just fly straight up into the sky. Whoa. So, my going places? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. I completely forgot that that one. So much for galactic travel. This is like, uh, not... Oh, God. Well, I'm lost in space. That's tough. But anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like the video, like the video. Once again, happy May 4th to all you Star Wars fans. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and good. Bye. <clears throat> Bye.